And just like that, let's give case two a try. Of our girl Nina Akula, Legal Eagle, Broken Wings. If the preview of last episode was anything to go by, then we'll be promised a, uh, a uh, crash. Cool. Ahem, let's try this again. It turns out the game didn't crash, but McAfee decided that it was a virus. Naturally. So, let's try this again. In the office. Oh, looking all packed up and messy. What am I going to do? Akula Defense and Law Offices. December 3rd, 9.32 a.m. Oh, hello. Help on it. Hmm. Yep, ninth floor, just like in the ad. Hello? Anyone here? Someone's gotta be here, the door's just wide open. Someone who's left this place in a real mess. Just all the boxes. Is that a bed? What kind of lawyer's office is this? Also, tell me that smell's not the kitchen. Gotta be someone here who can explain all this. And someone's just fast asleep on the bed, on the sofa. Oh, um, well, this is awkward. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Why are you naked in the lawyer's office? I live here! You live. That just poses further questions! Look, just... Just give me a sec. Dot, no, no, dot, no, no. Did you seriously just jump in the shower? Yes. Keep your distance, Goggle Boy. Are you gonna be a while, or, uh... Yes! Listen, I can come back later. Just take a seat in my office. It'll just be about, uh... 20 minutes. 20 minutes?! It's been a few days. Uh... Mm. What is it? Uh... It's about my eye. I, uh, I don't mean to pry, but, uh... And don't. Start by telling me why why you walked in. This is a lawyer's office, isn't it? Defense attorney, and we're closed. Oh, sorry, I just I guess I just got confused by your open front door. I didn't mean to get that fixed. Not the only thing around here that seems to need fixing. <clears throat> what did you say? Look, I don't know what kind of Aren't you gonna answer that? Just let it go to voicemail. Why didn't you answer it? That's Anya's phone. I keep getting these unknown caller calls. First I pick them up, but they were always telemarketers. 
just have to plug in when she when she left. Wait. You're not Anya Miller, the defense attorney? I thought this was Miller Defense in Law. Akila. Akila Defense in Law. It's been for over two weeks. So you're a defense attorney too. Yeah, but I'm not currently taking any cases. Oh, are you too busy? No. You're on hiatus or something. Not as such. Retired? Don't be absurd. Then why? I'm just not taking cases, okay? We're closed. Fine. Goodbye. And he's gone. Wait. You have a help wanted sign in the doorway. Oh, that. That was before. You need a secretary? <laughs> have you seen this place? Do you think I can afford to pay a secretary? Do it for free. But well, for free? If. I promise to be my friend and think about taking his case. Hmm. Got any references? Yeah. I know what surface clean... I know what surface cleanser is. Ouch. Just gotta meet him. Do that, and I'll clean this place up. Even if you don't take the case. Hmm. Place really could do with a clean. <laughs> Kitchen is just corded off. Fine. I'm Nina, by the way. Nina Akila. Bill and Merlo. Where are, you, where are you meeting your friend? It's in a detention cell at the police station. And uh, he's accused of murdering someone. Bit. Great. Okay, we'll head down to the detention center, but no promises. Sweet, let's go. Dylan Merlo has joined your party. Hell yeah. Yep. Friend acquired. I expect that to come in handy one of these days. Take your phone with us. I missed calls from unknown caller. Damn telemarketers. Tethered PC, though these days I only really use it as an alarm clock. Fair. When was the last time I watered this? Wait. Do you even water palm trees? My laptop. No time to browse Reddit today. Yeah. Desktop printer. So that means it's useless. Seriously, digital cameras and computers have come so far. Why are printers still useless? What are you expecting? A great ball? What? In the garbage? Oh, 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 it's a Pokemon reference. I <laughs> took a minute to click there. I can always use the phone right now. Legal books, case studies, precedents, and a couple of bodice rivers. Oh. Stuff in my apartment. I want to unpack, but there's nowhere to put it all. Hmm. Somewhere in the, uh... Intervening gap between last case and this case. We have... This would be the only place I could sta the only place I could stash all my clothes. Oh. I installed Anya installed the shower months ago. It's surprisingly handy. Yeah, needs a clean. Yeah. Kitchen's just a bit of a sight right now, just to consider it off limits. <laughs> the couch is still in the kitchen though. Time for it today. What happened here? I'll pick this up later. Yeah. Alright. Let's take the stairs today. Or the ninth floor. Let's take the best to take the elevator and list the buildings on fire. Oh darn. Should probably close the door, but there we go. Our anime opening. Still looks very tired. Today's cast of characters. Oh, that guy looks even more tired.
That's a neat touch how that came together. Ugh, what the... It's natural light. How long have you been cooped up in your office? I don't know. Two weeks? I am curious about the... So it looks like that isn't actually our next case. That's something that happened off-screen. That sort of forced Anya out of the plot. That's a balloon. Two weeks? Oh, it feels longer. Like as if it was six months. Ugh. I had shows to binge. It's weird. The city looks bigger somehow. Whoa, world map. Where's the police station again? I don't actually know. You have GPS on your phone? Yeah, just a sec. Oh, shit. That's it. There it is, to the southwest. Need to head for the exclamation point icon. Let's go. All right. Oh, shit. I get into an airship battle? <laughs> Oh my god, walking over the... everything. Here are the police station. Police detention area, December 3rd, 9.55 a.m. Plump. What's his name again? Terry. Terry Scrub. Thanks for doing this. Not accepted yet. Even so. What the... you? Hi. God, I'm done here. I thought you knew this guy. We go way back. We certainly act like old friends. <laughs> Guard! This is going nowhere fast. How do you know him? We, uh, used to ride together. It's like a brother. Ride. Together. Wait. From a biker gang? Eh, kinda. Terry, will you just sit down? Nothing to say to you. Fine, then at least talk to her. A pirate cosplayer? <laughs> Pirate bartender cosplayer? No, oh, I'm, I'm what? I'm a lawyer. I've told you before, Dylan. I don't need your help. <clears throat> Guard. I've seen enough. Wait. Listen, both of you. You know, please. Terry, sit down. Into every lawyer's office in this city. You are not dismissing the only one I got to come down here without even speaking to her. Been turned down by every lawyer in Fledge City. Gotta at least hear what he did. Fine. What did he do? Shoot the mayor? He's accused of killing Joe Joel da Silva. Da Silva. The billionaire? I didn't kill him. He was already dead. Start. You should talk to him more and find out what happened. I told you pretty much everything I know. We need to talk to Terry to find out more. Oh, bye. Oh, shit. We can actually walk out. <laughs> Whoops. I'm going home. What is that? I don't remember that being on the floor before. Alright, fine. <laughs> what happened? Start from the beginning. I didn't do it. You've made that abundantly clear. I'm going to represent you, and you know what you're accused of. Fine. Taking part in a card tournament at the High Flyers Casino. A place on the edge of town? That's right, you know what? Only from a distance. I went to De Silva's room to talk to him. Got up to his room, the door was ajar. Then. What happened, Scrub? I walked in and De Silva was motionless. He was face up on his bed. The room was a mess, too. I was looking down at his huge body to see if he was dead. That's so when a maid walked in and saw me. She screamed and ran out of the room. The next thing I knew, hotel security grabbed me. I told them I was innocent, but they wouldn't believe me. I'm starting to see why it was so difficult for you to find an attorney. See? You don't believe me either. He said no such thing. He's not doing himself any favors with that mouth of his. He seems confident. He could defend himself. Who needs attorneys anyway? I got a plan. Oh, is this gonna be good? Plan? It's so simple that it's ingenious. Let's hear it then if it's so simple. Are you alone? 
course we're not alone. We're fucking observation. Slip away when they come get me for the trial. I'm sure we're being observed at some point. That's your plan. The whole plan. We worked out all the details. <laughs> Haven't worked out any details. Uh, okay, perhaps expecting him to defend himself was a tad optimistic. You know, back me up on this. Uh, do I have to really... Do I really have to rationalize why trying to break out of prison on the eve of a trial is a bad idea? Okay, time for my stern voice. It's a bad idea, Terry. Nailed it. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? I keep saying I'm innocent. No one will believe me. Why are you so certain that no one believes you? Come on, T-Bro. Tell me what, tell what happened. Get up to it. Silva and I had argument. <clears throat> said you'd kill him if you ever saw him again. Maybe I did. I was angry. Well, you said your temper was going to get you into trouble someday, T-Bro. <clears throat> and stop with all that T-Bro nonsense. We haven't called each other that since we were kids. It's scrub. I don't understand. You said that DeSilva was already dead when he entered his hotel room. The argument was in the morning, a few hours before Terry was arrested. He's... Well, he was the top-ranked complete card player in the world. He didn't seem busy. I didn't win the whole hotel lobby. I asked him to play and he said yes. Okay, and then what happened? He won. Ask an obvious question, I guess. But he was sneaky. He caught me in a trap. I would never. Forget the actual game. What happened next? You got into a fight? No, it was just words. Why did you go to his... Because a few hours later, I saw that the Silva had bad mouthed me on Bleeder. Bleeder? It's a micro blocking. It's a micro blocking service. Online. I make posts called Bleats. Yeah! <laughs> That's a more accurate depiction of what the, on what Twitter has actually become. Bleeder. Yeah! 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 Just lots of angry voices yelling. I'd calmed down by then. I kind of felt bad, so I thought I'd go apologize. It's a lot of down, down to earth, normal daily life stuff, and then there's just a lot of pointless arguments. And you can show up on you can show up on that platform for one, but you can't escape the other, no matter what you do. That's when he saw his door ajar. Right. God. It's hopeless, isn't it? Just grab, please. It's hopeless. I'm gonna hang. I'll admit, it doesn't look good. Let's keep that to myself at this particular moment. Hopeless. Did you really try every attorney in Athlet City? Everyone. Office was high on my list. Emailed Anya Miller yesterday, but got no reply. I just came by to chase up the, the email. It was a shot in the dark. See, it's like I said. T bro, I know it must be difficult. You don't know anything. I've got no idea how it feels. The cops took a statement when they arrested me. You know what you know what they did? He asked if I wanted to make a confession. I've done nothing wrong. Hmm. That's a pretty standard procedure, but he seems generally genuinely upset about it. I've got no idea. No idea. Terry. On the contrary, Mr. Scrub, I know all too well how maddening that can be. If you're ready to take another case, they've really been to every other attorney in the city. Someone has to stand for him. May as well be me. It's time to flash the ID. It's an item. Terry Scrub. I formally ask if you would like me to represent you in court. I can't promise you victory, but I swear I'll do everything within my power. You'll do it? You're taking my case? I'm offering to, yes. Legally, I'm obligated to say that you can always represent yourself. No, no, please, be my attorney! Oh, thank you, thank you so much! Great. <laughs> Normally, this is where we discuss my fee, but Dylan... Psst. What is it? Dylan, I've offered to work for his fee. Refuse the gesture. Fine. What's this about fees? 
Ah, the county will take care of that. Worry about it after the trial. Okay. Now for the awkward part. Now that you've accepted, we need to get something out of the way. I think we lawyers call it a million dollar question. Do you know what that means? No? I'm a defense attorney, but I can only help you if you trust me. Tell me you're innocent, and I'll trust in your innocence right up until the end. If you say you're guilty, it's my duty to stand by your, you in court and hold the prosecution to task. So right now, look me in the eye and answer me one question. Did you kill Joel Da Silva? No. Okay. Okay, I believe you. You do? I do. So do I. Thank you. Profile, Terry Scrub. Whoa. Four foot eleven. Oh wow, he's small. Um, what's that for? Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I think it's time for us to go. The trial's really tomorrow. We gotta get to work. Anything else before we go? There's just one more thing. Really? What's that? So it didn't look like he had just died. You saying he looked like he'd been dead for a long time? No, just... It didn't look like he had just dropped dead. That bleed was only said 10, maybe 15 minutes before I got there. Have you seen many dead bodies? Well, no, but you did say anything. I guess I did. Keep it in mind when you see the coroner's report. Meanwhile, sit tight and try not to worry. Okay. Dylan, you need to get over to the High Flyers Casino. Let's move. Alright. Oh, I was hoping we could examine stuff on the map. Is this it? High Flyers Casino. Okay, now we're here. First priority is... Wait. Does Banner say DFA? DFA? This is an anime convention! Well, yeah. Scrub said DeSilva was a world champion card player. He was. He was the world champion of Dragon Fantasy Arena. That, the children's training card game. What were you expecting? I don't know, poker, blackjack, we are at a casino. Huh. Yeah, starting to see how you could have misunderstood. You think? <laughs> anyway, let's start by speaking to somebody at the front desk. There's nobody at the front desk. See a porter or receptionist. Me neither, so plan B. Scrub said the Silva's body was in his room. Let's find a way upstairs. Shall just try to speak to people to find out what's going on. We might turn up something useful. Alright. Not oh, damn. Aren't you kind of worried though? Not really. They said they they said they caught the guy who did it. Who is he? Just some scrub. It, literally. It's ATM. I got better things to do than <laughs> I got better things to do than be reminded of all the money I don't have. Sweet, the dining hall. I really do have something to eat. I think it's only open at meal times. Plus I suspect this place is expensive. A bit out of my pay grade. Oh, oh. Awkward line there. Uh, d whoa. Do you want to play on the Nintendo Switch too? Hmm. Maybe someday. Fire extinguisher. Oh, hello. Visible fire extinguisher. Oh, hey, first time here? Yeah. Me too. Cool. I, um, oh! You know what the event schedule is like? You get a copy when you sign up in the con book. People started turning up yesterday. Some of the VIPs, too. That must have been why De Silva was here. Today is mainly about arrivals and registration, while the con staff set everything up. And for tomorrow, the events last six days, with the DFA finals on the last day. I'd say that's the busiest day, too. Thanks. That's useful to know. Have fun. Thanks, random dude. Can I steal some of your pizza? 
food here is really good, but a bit expensive. Yeah, DFA can be a bit of a wallet killer. Wait, are you just two identical dudes? <laughs> okay. Welcome to DFA 23. Need help? Just grab one of us gophers. We're all in yellow. Oh, okay. What is this line going to? Hey, what's with the long line? She tried to cut in. Hey, get to the back of the line like everyone else. Oh, whoa. Okay, so we're all waiting for elevators. And two of them are down for maintenance. Hey, is there any chance of using the stairs? Sorry, but the stairwell is closed. The hotel has asked us to make sure no one uses them. What do you mean closed? They're being rebuilt. Apparently most of the floors are inaccessible, even if you tried. Oh. Sorry, but you'll have to wait for the elevator. Sounds like a bit of a fire hazard. Yeah. That's a bit of a serious fire hazard. Welcome to DFA 23. Don't put any of the free lines to get your passes. Just have your ID ready. Follow the instructions for any of the gophers. We're all in yellow, so you can tell. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, we're not here with the con. We're just trying to get upstairs. Not here with the con? Sorry, the con's booked out the entire venue. Every hotel room and the, every hall. Wow, really? I told you. DFA's super popular right now. You have to speak with the hotel staff. Now, if you excuse me, I need to keep direct con attendees. I need more language for the passes. I think there are some in one of those boxes. They seem busy. Yeah, I guess running these sorts of events isn't always glamorous. Ugh. Sorry, this area's off limits for now. They're still setting up. It's your staff or a VIP pass. I can't help you. Go bother someone else. Hmm. I know, you've got, I know you've got a job to do, but there's no need to be a prick about it. Take that. That's not a ticket. No, it's a defense attorney ID. Which isn't a ticket. I know. Look, I can't let anyone pass unless they're staff or if they're one of the special early access VIP passes. Fill your... A crystal. Oh. <laughs> Just pull a Nick Fury, take off the eye patch. I've got all the identification I need right here. All right, how do we get a pass? Man, I can't wait to see Axel Rays play this weekend. Me too, bro. I know, right? It's gonna be awesome. Wow, people really do seem excited about all this. Now where did I put my ID? She seems busy. I swear, these lines get longer every year, right? The lines? Oh, definitely. Incognito. Well done, Nina. Hey, what's with the long line? Trying to cut in? Pack the line. Whoa. Serious business. All right. Any staff arrived? I talk to you at the back of the line. Hi. Hi. Sweet eye patch. Are you here for the con too? We're here to investigate a mur. Yeah, we're here for the con. You don't tell that to everyone we meet, Dylan. What's going on? Why is there such a long line? Oh, these things are always busy when people start turning up at the venue. Plus, with all the cosplayers, everyone has a lot of luggage. Apparently, two of the elevators are busted, and the third one's pretty slow. We could be here for hours. Hours? I think we'll come back later. Have fun. All right, well. It's him! He's here! OMG, it really is him! What's all the commotion? Must be Axel Rays! Oh my god. There he is. Wait, I recognize him. Isn't he a billionaire too? Don't you know? He's Axel Rays, second ranked in the world at Dragon Fantasy Arena. Rays. Rays. He's the owner of Rays Corp. 
What do they make again? High-end pro video gaming equipment. What's that energy drink? Raiselessness. Why is it a tournament for a children's card game? No, it takes a lot of skill to play at high level. Plus, with its modern holographic technology, the game's going to become a great spectator sport. If you say so. I do say so. Oh, he's... Evan was really excited to see if Axel could take on the Silver, the reigning champion. Just now, have to make do with the newcomer, Marcus Steele, and his longtime rival, Stella, Stella Faraday. Oh, so he's the Seto Kaiba of this universe. Hang on. Are you playing your own theme music? <laughs> You're in my way. What? I wish to inspect the duel arena before the tournament. It's closed. Closed? No barrier exists that can stop Raxineel, the servant of darkness. Get out of my way, lest you wish to contend with his wrath. Don't respond well to threats. Plus, I'm struggling to hear you over the sound of that Bluetooth speaker. Oh. Ah. Please make way with the VIP, or I'll be forced to have you removed. Yeah, that's the Axel Rays. Ah, fine. Right this way, Axel. Call us if you need anything. Hmm. Well, that's a fucking... That's an impressive horizontal... That's an impressive leap there. Fucking impressive long jump. So cool. Apparently the room's only closed to the little people. Fucking... What? Eat the rich. This is why the scrub was here. To play against these guys. Yeah, Scrub is always a decent player of DFA. We should try and get into the big leagues, if that makes sense. You know, when I got up this morning, it probably wouldn't have. And now? I'm starting to get it. Hey, look. It's a porter at the front desk. Great, let's go speak to him. Alright, party time. First, I want to give you a piece of my mind. Alright. Hello, friend. Sorry, I can't provide any assistance with costumes. Co costumes? You're talking about my eye patch? Not here with the convention. Oh! So sorry, this place is just so full of weirdos right now. Hey, I've attended previous years, you know. They're just geeks, not weirdos. Okay, some of them are pretty weird. I need to make a sweep and generalization. My apologies. Anyway, can I help you? Uh, we're looking to get upstairs. Sorry about the line, but we'll just have to wait. Two of the elevators are out of order, and the stairwell is closed. Yeah, I saw that about the stairs. How can a stairwell be closed? The owner hatched some cock and doodle plan to replace all the stairs with escalators. You seem quite frank with regards to your employer. Oh, I'm sorry. I should try and be more professional. In any case, the work is ongoing. So many of the floors don't actually have stairs. That's a fire hazard. The floors have fire escapes, but using those would set off the alarm. Oh, okay. Oh, the only way upstairs for normal guests is to wait in line. Gotta have something that will convince me to let us cut in line. Actually, I'm actually a defense attorney, representing Terry Scrub. Oh, the murderer. The defendant. Ah, of course. My apologies. I think this guy lives with his foot in his mouth. His name must be Frank, because he's very upfront about everything. Police are still upstairs. De Silva's room is, uh, was... Well, it's on the fifth floor, in any case. Do you mind if we cut in line for the elevator? Probably best not to, but I have a better idea. Take this. Oh, stairwell pass. What's this for? See that access door? You can open it with that key card. Beyond that, you'll find a service staircase and a freight elevator. Give those cards to staff and select VIP guests. Uh, thanks. Owen, oh, please try to keep discussion of the incident to a minimum in front of guests. Don't they know about the murder? Oh, they know. There was an announcement last night. 
management has told us that the Silver was a big patron of the event and would have liked to see it go ahead. So everyone's trying to make the best of it. Makes sense. Yeah, thanks for your help. Call me if you need anything else. Alright. Guess we're down to work. Oh, up to fifth floor. Oh god, too many stairs. You okay? Do I look okay? Wow, you're really out of shape. I'll have you know I can object to two statements at once. You should have just used a freight elevator. That coffin it looked older than my office building. My windows leak when it rains. Well, we're here now. Fifth floor, right? Seems like it. Okay, let's look for a uniform. Porter said the police were still here. Hello there. Sorry, but this floor is closed. Unless you have business here, I'll have to ask you to leave. What's this? It's my ID. Know that voice? Oh, hello there. Miss Akula, as I live and breathe, I haven't seen you in weeks. Great, just great. She's an attorney, Stefan. She can have access to the scene. I'll vouch for her. You heard him. I can guess why you're here. Due diligence. Not sure I follow your meaning, detective. Means Scrub's going to plead guilty, right? Plead guilt. Oh! No! He isn't! Who's this? Wait, is Dylan my PA? My secretary? I mean, he's in a paralegal. I say something or else this silence will have gone on for too long. He's my purse secretary. I, I'm my secretary. Smooth. You know, tell him Scrub's not going to plead. Let me handle this, Dylan. Detective. I think, it would, I think it would be inappropriate to discuss my client's wishes at this time. I... I mean... It's yourself. Could you walk us through the crime scene? Yeah, I could do that. Forensics team have finished their preliminary investigation. Well, I do kind of like the subtle glimpses at what might have happened between these two cases. You ready for this? For what? I have to walk onto a murder scene. You really knew what you're going to see. Just ask if you're going to be able to deal with that. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting you're not. I'm not suggesting you're not tough. Inside of blood, corpses. Some people go into shock when they see them. You can't help it. It's a physical reaction. I can hack it. Okay. Just, if you have to leave in a hurry, no one will think less of you. Got it. There you go. The Silva's hotel room. Swanky. Is it just me, or does it seem modest? What do you mean? The decor, the furnishings, they're all high quality, but... The Silva was a billionaire CEO. Where's the jacuzzi? The multi-jet shower? Balcony with adjoining helipad. Normal rich people stuff. Apparently the guy was quite frugal. He always stayed in this room when in Fledge City. I guess you don't get, get rich by spending money recklessly. Feel free to poke around. Just try not to disturb things too much. Talk to me if you need more info. So now what? Now we investigate the scene. We look for anything the forensics team may have missed. Hopefully we can find something that will disrupt the prosecution's case at the trial tomorrow. And if we don't? Let's try to be optimistic. Alright, party time. Is this the Silva's smartphone? Why didn't CSI take it for analysis? Uh, no need. Silva had just come back from Portugal. It seems that the airline lost some of his luggage. Laptop and the phone are brand new. Brought them on the way here. CSI took copies of all the data, but there was very little to speak of. Also bear no fingerprints, not even to Silva's. None. That's strange. This is odd. It's like a Silver Pro card defender. Card defender? Yeah, like a sleeve. All the top DFA players keep their cards in these. Silver Pro makes the best of the business. Strange. 
Okay, so De Silva was the Seto Kaiba of the universe. I'm not following you. De Silva probably keeps all of his cards in these. And then, uh, fucking Axel Rave is the, uh, whatever was his name, the guy from the big Kaiba tournament arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! The played all the Valkyries, like the Schroeder or something. That's Axel Rave. Okay. This one is empty. Maybe just did one spare. Maybe, but maybe not. Okay, so someone stole a card from him. Whoa, a 93 Bordeaux. The Silver knew his wine. Do you? Apparently. This place seems a mess. I'm almost surprised you'd notice. Yeah. Okay, you can have that one. That's fair. Still, there's an order of the chaos. I think somebody searched this room for something. Judging by this mess, I'm willing to bet they didn't get it. Alright. Detective, did you find any fingerprints on any, any of this stuff? Nope, no prints. I mean, none from the killer, or... No, I mean, we found no fingerprints. Not even any of De Silva's. Zero. Nada. So, I'm new to this. That's weird, right? It's odd, yes. All the same, it's true. Interesting. I feel like I've seen one of these before. It's a card map made by Silver Pro. Recognize that character. She's the healer in one of the Dragon Fantasy games. It's a popular character with cosplayers. Tell me about it. Do you think players use these when they want to have a small scale game? Card map? Hmm, it's the only one here. Silver could be doing a tournament prep. Perhaps, but here's a question. Since the last time you cooked a meal, Went so far as to set the dining table just for yourself. Uh. Hmm. Never mind. Eh. It's cards. Are any of them valuable? Let's see. Sierra Archangel. Frau Hanser. Pot of Mead. That. Uh. Nope, it's all pretty common. Made the same assessment. You know your trading cards, Detective? Is this really De Silva's outline? That's pretty huge! Yeah, they say he was a bodybuilder. Most competed at an international level in his youth. What stopped him? Some accident or something. Injury. That's why he went into business. I guess that syncs up. He owns Silver, Silver Pro, after all. Silver Pro? Yeah, they made sport goods. And trading card game products. I think that's why he was so involved in them. So there's no blood, just a few spots here and there. The coroner's report was pending, but well, from what I saw when we first came in, pretty clear he was strangled to death. Strangled to death? Alright. In 54. Couch? What do you do know? Just turned my client was found here at the seat. Why did you arrest him? We took Scrub into custody right away, initially just as a precaution. One of the hotel staff said they recognized him from Rafaka in the hotel lobby. He said he and the victim had argued over a game of cards, and Scrub had said he wanted to kill De Silva. Putting those two things together, the prosecution service decided to charge him with this murder. Alright. Scrub, Scrub said that a hotel maid raised the alarm. That's right, she's called Maria Stevens and has worked here for several years. Alright. I speak with her. 
Afraid not. She was quite distressed. The prosecution arranged to have her visit a counselor before the trial. Not too surprising, really, given what she saw. She said that she walked in and saw Scrub standing over to Silva's body. It took her a moment to realize that Silva was dead. She screamed before alerting hotel security. At least that syncs up, syncs up with Scrub's explanation. Oh shit, alright, we're out of here. I'm going to vacate the scene pretty soon, Miss Akula. That's fine, Detective. I think we're done here. We got everything we need. Truthfully, no. Staying here all night isn't going to change that. It's more like we found everything we're going to find. Time to examine everything and think about how that affects the case. Time to head back to the office. Take care. All right, time to go. Nothing special. It's empty. But <laughs> Wait, sir. Whoa. Hello. Hello there, friend. You ever get tired of just standing there like that? You're asking if I ever get bored of being a police officer. Well, do you? Do you get bored of being a defense attorney? Hey now. Sakula. Here it comes. It's good to see you. Back at work, I mean. Gotta stay professional. Ah, so they fell out. Mm-hmm. Sakula. Nina. Uh oh. I want you to know. That be all Detective Flatfoot. Yeah, that'll be all. Yep. What was all that about? Yep, we're definitely dealing with a coerced confession from Anya. It's personal. You want to talk about it? No. Time to leave. Are we done with the, uh, we have this. All right. We can't get in here. I got much shorter. Eliza, yes, with a Z, I definitely signed up on the website. He seems busy. Oh, wait, what? The slime got somewhat shorter. Because I have been here all day. You have. Anything else to see before we leave? Oh. Alright, time to go then. That went pretty well, right? Right? Not really, Dylan. Won't celebrate yet. Found plenty of evidence. I'll just break a brack. I don't want him to dwell on that. Let's just change the topic. Need to talk about tomorrow. Right, boss. It's gonna get a, take a while to get used to that. What do you know about being in court? I understand what we need to do. Well, to prove T-Bro is innocent? Close, but that's not quite right. As a defense, we don't have to prove that Scrub is innocent. Scrub is presumed innocent until proven guilty. Familiar with that phrase? Good, so following on from that. Ah! Oh. There are facts, and there are theories that fit those facts. Fact, Joel De Silva is dead, and he didn't strangle himself. Someone murdered him. Fact. Terry Scrub was found at the scene. His motive is admittedly loose, but that doesn't change that fact. Prosecution will assert a theory that Scrub killed De Silva. 
Our job is to demonstrate reasonable doubt that this theory is correct. Use the evidence to do that. That's the idea. Usually, anyway. Damn telemarketers. Nina. I think t has a good chance. We'll both do our best. Okay. We're on the back foot, so we'll have to listen to the prosecution's case. And then what? Doing it. You kept up your end of the bargain. Where are your cleaning supplies? I get to look at this pig sty and kill them. Yeah? Ah, go home. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Get some sleep. Meet at the courthouse at 9 a.m. Anya. What would you do? Oh, end of the day. Why don't you save your game to a new file before you continue? Okay. Whew. Okay, time to go to the courthouse. Little towns, so it shouldn't take too long to get there. Known caller. Alright, time to go. Here we are at court. It's a courthouse to courtroom B. November 4th, 8.55 a.m. Okay. We can do this. This is always the bench on the left. What are you doing? Sakula, silence yourself. Speak to me. Sakula, cease your protests or I will hold you in contempt. That's Nina. I'm going to go hide in the rafters. Don't mind me. Just hiding. Actually, no, I'm gone. Goodbye. Is she leaving? Looks like it. Isn't she the defense attorney? I should probably stay. <laughs> oh, look, I'm Chad. Hmm. Guess I wonder if things would feel different from this side of the room. Guess not. Oh, look, I'm Chad. I got cool scars and a creepy grin. I'm actually here. I am. <sighs> hey. Morning. You come straight from the defendant lobby? Yep. Good, good. How's Terry doing? How do you think? Okay, I'll rephrase. I think he's going to be able to get through the trial. Ah, uh, I think so. T-Bro might be a small guy, but he's tough where it counts. I hope you're right. Hello again, Miss Akula. Chat. My colleagues in the defense community say that everyone else turns scrub away. What's your point? Oh, no point. I just think it's fine of you to represent him under such circumstances. He uses an awful lot of words without really saying anything. Tell me about it. I'll rise for the Honorable Judge Tawny. That means stand up. Oh! <laughs> Please be seated. We're here today in observance of the case of Terry Scrub, who stands accused of murder in the first degree. Prosecutor Hawk, are you prepared for this case? As always, Your Honor. And you, Bisakula? The defense is ready, Your Honor. I wish that were true. Misakula, if I may. Yes? 
Trust me, will not see a repeat of your outburst from the last from the last time you were in my courtroom. What's she talking about? Never mind. Masakula, will not happen again, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Hawk, please state the prosecution's case. Right away. Terry Scrum was arrested around lunchtime the day before yesterday at the High Flyers Casino and Hotel Complex. He was seen standing over the body of the late Joel De Silva, millionaire CEO of Silver Pro and world champion card player. The prosecution asserts that Scrub killed De Silva following an earlier fracas. We intend to establish his guilt through witness testimony. Eh, seems legit. It's accusing a friend of murder! Hey, yeah, shit, you're right. That's not legit at all! Gotta hand it, in, gotta hand it to Hawk, though. There's real confidence in his words. Yeah. Why is he looking so smug? You can't read minds, Chad. Just in case you can, <clears throat> Chad Hawk is a big, stupid head. Thank you, Mr. Hawk. Bailiff, please begin the defendant. And can you please confirm your name and occupation? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Legal name is Tel Telemachus Scrub. The what now? <laughs> I, live, I live under the assumed name of Terry. Asked to be addressed as Terry Scrub. Telemachus? Yeah, like I said, t and I grew up in an orphanage. We all got classical names. How did you end up with Dylan? Her real name's actually Odysseus. Oh, oh it is? <laughs> also, I'm, in, I'm currently unemployed, Your Honor. I see. In that case, what were you doing at a casino? I was there to enter the DFA tournament that was about to take place. DFA? Dragon Fantasy Arena, Your Honor. Ah, yes, the one with the dragons, demons, cards, and such. My grandson plays it. He's eight. <laughs> it's probably just a game for... You, you are correct, Your Honor. It's time to get into a long discussion about how DFA is a children's card game played mainly by adults. Well, anyway, the tournament has prize money. So I'm between jobs, I thought I would enter. Very astute. Yeah, I thought so. Scrub, she's not serious. We come to the matter at hand. Terry Scrub, you stand accused of murder in the first degree. How do you plead? Plead not guilt. But Miss, Mr. Scrub, before you answer... The report that the prosecution submitted before this trial was quite damning. The arguments are persuasive. What the? Given how you were found standing over the body, I would ask you to consider your position carefully. Well, this is some manipulative bullshit. Your Honor, whilst I'm certain you, I am certain you mean well, my client has made his plea. The defense asks the court to respect that. Sakula. Fine. Plead not guilty, Your Honor. And take your manipulative bullshit and shove it. Mr. Scrub, the court recognizes your plea. That's my tea, bro. So obviously, that's what the fuck happened last time. With Anya. We have that scene where Anya got, uh... On the run, on the docks. Met by, uh, Flatfoot. Convinced him to turn himself in. And then... Went to trial. Obviously she pleaded guilty. Obviously... Flatfoot had a hand in convincing her of that. And so did the judge. And obviously, at the time, that caused an outburst from Nina, which pissed off the judge. Despite this fucking manipulative shit. That's my T-Bro. Prosecution, bring forth your first witness. Friendship has ended with Tawny and Flatfoot. Okay, here we go. Now Odysseus and Telemachus are my new friends. Huh? Mark's about to bring out a witness who will give a statement. Listen to it. We have to focus on the little details. An inconsistency, flaw of some kind, which shows that the witness is either lying or just mistaken. Worry about memorizing the statements through, though. We'll be able to recap it afterwards. 
Inconsistencies. Got it. Morning, Janet. Oh, hello again, Randy. Do they? Mm-hmm. That's a thing? I try not to think about it. Please introduce yourself. Please introduce yourself for the record. I'm Randall Flatfoot. I'm a detective with the Fledge City Police Department. And a real bastard. We were first alerted to the crime the day before yesterday, just after 1 p.m. Remember the hotel security team called and explained that there had been a murder. They also told us that they had detained a hotel guest and asked we would want to question them. We arrested Mr. Scrub at the hotel not long after we got there. The deceased, as you are all likely aware, was Joel De Silva, billionaire sporting goods tycoon. The prosecution enters the death certificate of Mr. De Silva into evidence. Hmm. Thank you, detective. Please move on to your statement. While arriving at the scene, Mr. De Silva's room was in disarray. Silva was dead. The hotel staff had detained Mr. Scrub. A member of the cleaning staff had walked into the room and seen Scrub standing over the victim's body. The staff recalled seeing the two of them in a fracas in the hotel's lobby, but seemed prudent to arrest him. Very well, Miss Akira. You begin your cross-examination. Oh, it seems off about this whole thing. I should press st Flatfoot statements for more info. Wow. Hold it! In disarray, a great many of what appeared to be Mr. De Silva's belongings were lying on the floor in a haphazard fashion. Scrub didn't say anything about going through De Silva's things. They can use that to crowbar in some doubt. Are you, suggest are you suggesting there were signs of a struggle? Perhaps I would. Oh, objection. Your Honor, the defense is attempting to lead the witness. Sustained. Please refrain from leading the witness to your own conclusion, Miss Akula. Yeah, heart caught on too fast. Ooh. Hold it! Mr. Scrub was taken willingly, I understand. That is correct, yes. I understand that he did not oppose the hotel security staff, and he was silent during his later arrest. The defense would like to draw attention to how Mr. Scrub cooperated fully. Objection. That's better than that, Acula. What? The fact that Scrub came willingly does not diminish the prosecution's accusation. He's accused of murder, not evading arrest. Does he have to be so abrupt? No, but he's right. Much as I hate to admit it. I'll have to try something else. Hold it! Remember the cleaning staff? Your Honor, surely this is hearsay. That foot can't enter a statement on behalf of another. It goes against convention. Objection. Detective is describing the statement that was given to him by the witness as it was presented to him. True, but... Describes why he thought it was prudent to arrest Mr. Scrub. Nothing more. Hmm. I agree with Mr. Hawk in this instance. Miss w m but Miss Akula does make a valid point. Mr. Hawk, do not engage in hearsay. I would never... Very well. A bit more of effort than a slap on the wrist would be appreciated, Judge. Double hearsay. Hold it. What's a fraca? Fraca. It just means they had a severe argument. Why not just say fight? What we understand, there wasn't much of a physical altercation. What? The scrub didn't punch to Silva. Oh. We should probably let this one slide. Why? Because it makes Scrub look bad. We know it's true. Oh, fair. Hold it. Hold it. Detective, how many murder cases have you investigated? I prefer not to count. So it would be reasonable to consider you expert in these matters, correct? This is news to no one, Akila. It would be fair to say that I am an expert in the field of homicide investigation. In that case, you've said that my client's motive stems from an argument with the victim argument, I am keen to remind you that was over a children's trading card game. Hey! Touched a card game for... Hey, T-Bro? Yeah? Shut up. 
Truthfully, it's unusual. Out of the collar, Hawk? It wasn't just about that. Your Honor, the victim posted a message on the internet, which he was very critical of Mr. Scrub's behavior. This would have been highly embarrassing for the defendant, as it would affect his standing in that close-knit community. Here it comes. I believe Mr. Scrub went to De Silva's room and strangled him due to De Silva airing out their dirty laundry online. Sure, it's important. Yes, I believe it's important. I agree. Witness, can you please add this to your statement? Tibor would never do that. Your Honor. Mr. Merlo, is it? Contain yourself. I will have you escorted from this courtroom. Uh, uh, yes, Your Honor. Try not to worry, Dylan. We'll find a flaw. The prosecutor's playing hardball. He doesn't want us to crowbar in an opening. Probably hopes he can start and end this quickly. So what do we do? Find a way to bust this wide open. Still, something seems off about this whole thing. Could Scrub really have strangled De Silva? Hmm. I feel like we would be... Uh... Jackson, take the flat foot. Could you fight Mr. Scrub? I'm sorry, I don't think I understand the question. My client is standing in front of you at this very moment. Could you take him, beat him up, if he, if he were to attack you? Objection. Really, Akula, why do you persist in wasting the court's time? Objection. Your Honor, the defense wishes to direct the court to the profiles of Mr. De Silva and Mr. Scrub. I could take that pig, no problem. Oh. <laughs> Oh, please, calm down before you hurt yourself, Pipsqueak. <clears throat> Order! <laughs> Miss Agula, I insist that you would explain yourself. Happily, Your Honor. The you see before you is a man of slight build. Hey! It's a man of slight build who is under five feet tall. Whereas Joel de Silva was an imposing man. Former professional bodybuilder. <clears throat> and was around seven feet tall. The defendant is a biker. Bikes to the desert to the north have a reputation for physical violence. You know, that's profiling. Surely they can't see that. Detective. Your Honor, it's inappropriate to accuse my client on the basis of a stereotype. Sustain. Mr. Hawk, does the defendant have any prior record of physical violence? I. well. No, Your Honor. Furthermore, this is compounded by our earlier point. So it is improbable that my client could have overpowered the victim. Improbable, perhaps. But still possible. Concede at that point, Prosecutor Hawk. However, given the doubts that have been raised concerning much of the detective's statement, <clears throat> Vince moves to consider his remarks as no longer relevant to the case. <gasps> order! Order! Hmm. Obliged to agree, Miss Akula. That's how you use a crowbar. I'll ask you to, rel to rel relinquish the stand, Randy. No problem, Janet. Uh, it's just me, useless again. Mr. Hawk, I trust you have another witness. Yes, Your Honor. In that case, please summon them to the stand. Prosecution calls Maria Stevens to the stand. Who? Oh. <coughs> Is this? Am I going to do this or what? Hello, Miss Stevens. Uh, hi. Miss Stevens, I'm sure this ex recent experience has been quite harrowing. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, can we hurry this up? <clears throat> so I'm standing over the dead man. They were alone. Can I go now? Doesn't seem particularly perturbed. I'll say. Mr. Hawk? Yes, Your Honor? A report this that said that this young lady attended counseling yesterday. Is that true? Oh, that quack? They sent me because I was crying and weeping and the rest of it. I think there was something wrong with me. Oh, and has died, Miss Stevens. Honor, I work as a maid in a casino hotel. 
You, you seriously think this is the first time I've walked into a room? Come across a dead rich person? Uh, well. I see. Yes, I can see how that changes things. It does? How many people have died at the casino? Like I said, I mean, we're standing over the dead man's body. Can I go now? I'm sorry, Miss Stevens, but no, you can't leave. You need to make a formal statement. <clears throat> this is supposed to be my day off. I appreciate that, but <clears throat> I have to work two jobs. That's quite unfortunate. <clears throat> I only get one day off every two weeks. Raya right, Stevens, that is enough. Don't. Don't do it, Hawk. Can I... No! Oh! I'm not sure of mind reader after all, eh, Chad? This whole thing seems like a waste of time to me. And in the interest of brevity... Miss Stevens, if you will just cooperate, I will ensure that you can leave as soon as procedurally possible. Let's suffice. Ugh, fine, get on with it. Please state your name and occupation, for the record. I've already... Do you want to get out of here or not? This might be your day off, Miss Stevens, but I'm very much at work today. <clears throat> I'll keep you here all day and all night if necessary. <clears throat> state your name and occupation. Now! Whoa, she can be a real hard ass. Vegetonia's always run a tight ship. Here's Maria Stevens. It's one of the cleaning staff at the High Flyers Casino. Wonderful. Now, starting at the beginning, please explain how you came to be involved with this case. What are you staring at the detective? What's that? It's on the cleaning road of that morning. I've been assigned to clean the fifth floor. Everything seemed normal. So I wrapped up room 504, walked into 505 to see that man standing over the other man's body. In murder of our card game? That's nuts! Thank you, Miss Stevens. Very succinct. Miss Ocula, please begin your cross-examination. Great, another reason to wait around. She seems pretty hostile. Need more information to work with. Oh, time to press away. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to save the game. When we come back, we'll, we'll proceed with our cross-examination. See how far we can get with this. Until next time. Until then.